obviously as the star of the show you have a pretty big safety net with shootings and such but what was your reaction with the the cliffhanger last season oh yeah 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 i loved it mm -hmm. i really loved it i was like oh, yes because i think uh storytelling should move people and I like being a part of storytelling that has a lasting impact and can transform a person after viewing it. So I thought that by reaching for higher stakes, by reaching for deeper truths, I thought that we were um, challenging the show to become an even bigger and better version of itself. So, to me, I thought it was a great way to go. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, you know, if you're gonna tell a story, don't, don't hold back, don't suffocate this story, go for it, you know? Um, with Montgomery's death and Beckett's own shooting, obviously a lot of baggage going into this season. What do you think her mental state is now with that and with her quest to find out who killed her mother? Well, you know, she had a lot of time off she was healing mm -hmm. and I think uh, the time off gave her a moment of reflection and she's she's gonna have a tough time I think uh, opening up to this new captain this new captain has a different flavor about her and I think you know Beckett has always been kind of the ace student and so the new captain comes in and the A student's kind of like, no, you don't understand, I'm the A student. I get to break the rules, that's how it works <laughs> here. And the new captain is like, I don't care what you are, there's no rule like breaking in my school, right? Yeah. So there's gonna be a level of conflict there, I think. Um, and Becca is mourning the loss of her captain and friend and mentor, so I don't think she's gonna open up to the new captain right away. Um, and the new captain's a toughie, man. It's hard. Mm -hmm. It's hard to open up to her. I think you know, as the show progresses, you'll discover that um, the new captain has more to offer than she immediately seems to. And then I think also, um, as far as like the relationship is concerned between Beckett and Castle, Beckett's always known that she's been in love with him. I mean, since the end of season two, you know, she mm -hmm. actually tried to reach out to Castle and start something. Um, but I think she also is going to become extremely aware of the fact that until she is able to lay this burden, this baggage to rest, she's not going to be able to fairly engage in any relationship. And I think Beckett is, as she said, the one and done type, you know? And so if she goes into a relationship with Castle, she's going to want to make it Count. She's going to want to give it her best effort, and she's going to want to make sure that any baggage she has is cleaned out first. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's her big secret. I think this year is that before she dives in with him, she has to close that chapter and make sure that she's whole and available to a real relationship mm -hmm. because that's something that's been holding her back from um, really diving in with anyone. You know. Mm -hmm. I think it's interesting too, you know, she's a bit, in my mind, she's a bit of a superhero. <laughs> um, well, she's got the shirt. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I totally, I was, I was saying that, I've said this before, but as I was saying, I was like, oh, jeez. Um, but I think that, um, that, that's a burden that weighs on a person. And I think that for a young woman growing up in Manhattan, who had the whole world in front of her. Like, she was in university and things were supposed to be really great. She had an incredible future ahead of her. Um, I think that losing your parent like that would really tear up your sense of justice mm -hmm. and what is right in the world. And I think that would be a strong motivation for making the world right again, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think that's probably one of the things that drive her drives her. I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah. My mind. Before I let you As go. A person who plays yeah. <laughs> you would know. Um, 
I feel like there's a Halloween episode happening right now. They're playing the Ghostbusters theme, and you have a Wonder Woman shirt on. Right. Uh, what can you tell us about this? Yeah, um, there's a haunted house that might or might not be um, having uh, demon issues. Um, so there have been a series of murders in this horrible haunted house, and uh, Castle and Beckett go on uh, on a journey in this uh, in this space to solve big bad murder. Mm -hmm.